you like my mug? It is a vintage Cinderella mug from the 90s. And I love it especially because it has the evil stepsisters on it and they're hilarious. And of course, Lucifer and Gus Gus and Jack and all the friends. I got this at a flea market for $5, which was a hefty price for a mug from a flea market, but it was worth it because I'm a huge Cinderella girl. It's my favorite princess. Comment your favorite princess down below. I'm pretty sure that these mugs were like a gift you could purchase with some kind of restaurant, maybe McDonald's or some kind, something from the 90s where you would buy the mug with a meal or something like that. I'm pretty sure we had the Pocahontas version or maybe the Lion King or maybe both. We had everything when I was a kid. So I don't think we had the Cinderella one. So I'm so happy that she's mine today. And of course, there's my lipstick on there because it's not my mug if my lipstick isn't on it. It's just like lipstick lover problems, right? You're there with me, right? Lipstick on everything. Enough about my mug. Today we are here to do an update on my 2022 Pan That palette. And I am panning the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. I know, so original. I know lots of people are panning this palette right now and have panned it in previous years, which honestly, I really enjoy because I get to compare my progress along with other people's progress and just see where we're at, see where we started, kind of just use it as a pacing guide and a little added extra competition to really use this. Not that it's a competition, I just like to add that element for myself. It just is interesting to kind of see where other people are at. So yes, this palette has now been with me for the whole year. I've been using it almost every day doing pretty good about being diligent and bringing this in I've had to mix it in with my pan those eyeshadows palettes and it's actually been pretty seamless I've been able to incorporate it in with my palette for pan those eyeshadows and it gives me a little bit more not I don't say variety I mean it does give me variety obviously but the this is such a neutral palette that it kind of helps me to pair it with the other shimmers or mattes that I have going on. We are at the 8th of January. My goals for last month were to hit pan on Burnt Orange and Buon Fresco. So I'll go ahead and show you what this palette was looking like last month. We made some progress. Like I said, I've been good. This is what my palette is looking like this month. So we have quite a few updates. We have some new pans. We have some expanded pans. It is an exciting day in Jessica Banana's world right now. So <laughs> let's go ahead and update you on all of these shades. So we'll just start with Tempera. Tempera I used 22 times this month. Oh, actually, no, I miscounted. I used Tempera 27 times this month, which is pretty impressive that I did my makeup 27 times between now and December 28th. I do wear I make up at least to work every day. I just don't feel fully dressed without it. And at this point, you know, if you're a teacher, if you show up to work any different way on a certain day, like if you do your hair different, if you do your makeup different, if you change your hair, every single student will tell you about it. So it's just best not to disrupt it. Cause I just, I'm like, okay, if I wear makeup on the first day of school, I'm gonna wear makeup on every day of school because the students will all tell me I look terrible if I don't. I'm sure. They'll be just be like, teacher, you look different every single one. And I have 300 students I see in a day. So that would not be fun. 27 times and the pan has definitely expanded. I'm going to do little close ups of like all of these pans individually, but you can see that pan has gotten quite big. So I definitely think the shade I'll be able to use up. I've never used up an eyeshadow before, so I think it'll be very exciting. I use this shade to buff out my eyeshadow around my brow bone and on the edges. So of course it works great for that for my skin tone and it will not be difficult to use this shade all the way up I have no doubt so without even trying it'll be fun to watch that one go all right golden ochre I only use this shade five times this month it still doesn't have pan but it is starting to get a little bit of a dip and I use a really big brush with this so I think when I do hit pan it's going to be a large pan uh, so it's getting lower. It's definitely not super close to pan, but I'm not worried about hitting pan on that one. I think it'll just happen naturally. I don't think I need to focus on it. It's not my favorite shade. It doesn't show up much on my complexion. And I kind of just use it as like a very light crease color if I'm doing like a more natural look. I actually have it as my first crease color on my look today. So it's there. And then we have Vermeer. I used this shade seven times last month. It did have pan in the last update, and I think I've expanded it a little bit. I haven't necessarily been focusing my brush 
in the center of the pan. I kind of just like go around, you know, sometimes yes, sometimes no, but I do think the pan is a little bit bigger. I'll have to check later, get a better idea. Bron Fresco was one of my focus shades last month. I wanted to hit pan on it, and as you can tell, I have. I used this shade 10 times, and it pairs really well with a shade in my pan, those eyeshadows, Gale, and I also wore it a ton with, I think, a different shade. It just goes really well with any cool tone look, and I've been really enjoying the cool tone eye looks recently. I kind of newly appreciating them in these last few months. So yeah, I used this shade, like I said, 10 times, and not only did I hit pan, I hit a good pan. That's a, that's a honker of a pan right there. So I've continued to use it after I've hit pan, and it's just a really great shade to use. It's just so easy to use, and I think it pairs really well with my green eyes. The next shade is Antique Bronze. I actually did not use this shade this month, so I hit pan on it in my Pan Those Eyeshadows last year, and it has not gotten a single use since then. It's just not my favorite shade. It's just like not a shimmer. It's not really a matte. I guess it's like a satin is what they call those, but I don't know. It's just like a brown satin. It's, it doesn't come off like as the color in the pan, I don't think. I'll have to kind of convince myself to use a little bit more of that or find ways that I like it, I guess, in the next, what, 10 months that I'll be using this palette. The next shade is Love Letter, and I used this shade eight times, and it's actually getting a pretty good dip in it. I've used it a lot. I've been pairing it with Bon Fresco, and I've actually found it to be quite neutral. I use quite a fluffy but small brush, and it just diffuses the color really gently and nicely into a lot of other looks. Like, it doesn't just, like, scream bright pink. I can kind of give it a more purple vibe or a more just, like, warm tone, like, orangey vibe, like, by mixing it with a real gar or, like, um, burnt orange. And it's quite neutral, really. I can, I can find a way to make it neutral. And, you know, as it is called Love Letter and it's a pink shade, I would love to focus on this in the month of February and hit pan on that as well. I think it's getting pretty close. That dip is looking pretty good to me. We also have Cypress Umber. I use this a lot as an outer corner or liner shade. And it did have pan in it last month. Um, I used it nine more times. And I think the pan is a little bit larger, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, that's exciting. And that's another one that I don't think I have to focus on that color at all. Like it's just something that I'm going to always need a darker brown and this is the one I'll be reaching for until the end of 2022. The next shade is Raw Sienna and I only used this shade one time. So I don't think there's any visual difference that you'll be able to see. Uh, I do really like this shade, but I just wanted to, I really wanted to focus on Burnt Orange, which is kind of interchangeable shade for me. And so this one didn't get a lot of love. Again, I think that all these mattes, most of these mattes will not be a problem for me to use. So we'll come back to that one a little bit more, hopefully in the next update. And I also had a goal for the last month to hit pan on burnt orange and I did. And again, it's a nice chunk of pan. I used this shade nine times in the past month and I love this shade. It's probably one of my favorites in the palette. And I also love letter, love letter. I just. I, I love that shade. I do love Love Letter. <laughs> I brought Fresco as a favorite. So yeah, Burnt Orange will continue to get some nice changes in the next few months, I'm sure, as well. The next shade is Primavera, and this shade I used eight times, and I think I definitely expanded that pan a little bit. It already had pan last month, but it's definitely probably a little bit more pan now, and that one also is super easy to use. I mostly just put that in the inner corner or just in the inner part of the lid, it could be an all-over lid shade, too, if I wanted something very natural, neutral. Same with Vermeer. These two are just not super shimmery, so most of the time they don't pack enough punch for what I'm looking for. Okay, Golden Ochre. This shade I only use three times, and it's definitely got quite a dip in there. It already had a dip to start with, and this is another shade that I would love to hit pan on in the next month. It's so close. It's quite deep, and I think with just like maybe five more uses, I could hit pan on that, and... With love letter maybe like six or seven more uses maybe eight um so yeah i think that those two are going to be my focus shades i definitely think i can hit pan on that shade in the month of february i mean when else to wear red and this one as well i could really sheer this out and make it quite neutral and wearable for every day just in the outer corner to deepen a warm look and it pairs really nicely with lots of other colors you can kind of like change the shade of it by mixing it with other shades so yeah, it's not too hard. Not, I mean, a lot of people see like a bright red 
I mean, it's not a bright red, but a lot of people see a red and they kind of get intimidated, but you can really make them quite wearable, I find. All right, Venetian red here, only used it one time. So we could definitely give that one more love this month as well. You're not gonna be able to see a change, I'm sure, but I'm glad I used it at least once and February will be its month. I'm just gonna do like all pink looks for the next week. Oh, okay, I'm doing it. That's what I'm gonna do. I don't know why I did a green look today. I was just feeling the green. I wanted to get some use on my child palette. But from here on out, pink. Pink every day. Warm Taupe is the next shade. I did not use this at all. No, kind of disappointed in myself for that. It has a little disturbance on the surface, but, you know, it's just not a shade I've ever given a lot of attention to. It's not really a shade I gravitate to very much. It's a cool tone neutral, so maybe I'll kind of get more excited about it after I've hit more pans on other shades and Eventually, that's going to be a focus, I'm sure. The last shade is Real Gar, and I actually, even though you would never know by looking at it, I actually used the shade six times this month. It, I doubt it looks any different than it did last month. I love this shade. Definitely one of my favorites in the palette as well. I love all the mattes in this palette. I'm shocked that this dip is only what it is because I have used this shade probably well over 30 times now. It was in my Pan Those Eyeshadows last December, and it's gotten a lot of use, but it's just so pigmented that I don't need to pick up enough to make any visual difference on there. You know, like these lighter tones, I'm going in with layers. This one, I only need like one little hint of real guard to get the orange that I really want, unless I'm doing like an orange, orange look, which maybe in the summer, that'll be a good way to use up real guard. But not now, right now we're focusing on those pinks. That is my goal for the rest of the month is to hit pan on Love Letter and Red Ochre and also to make some progress on Venetian Red. I think that is a very doable goal, and I'm excited to focus more on those pinks and fuchsias and reds and warm, beautiful, romantic tones for this very cute month of February where you just get pink things everywhere, and God knows, I love pink. That's my Pan That Palette update. I don't expect to use up all of these shades, that is just not even something that I would like to try to attempt, but I'm really excited just to see how much more progress I can make on this palette in the next month, and then ultimately how much I can use of it in this full year. It has been kind of tricky to balance it with my Pan Those Eyeshadows, but hey, I'm just glad that more of my collection is getting love and attention. And it's just fun to track how much, you know, eyeshadow I can use. I mean, it's just something interesting to think about. I don't know why. Thank you everybody for watching my video today. I hope you enjoyed seeing the progress on my Pan That palette. Can't wait to see how much progress I'm able to make in the next month. If you aren't already, please subscribe to my channel. I know I have a lot of new subscribers right now, so thank you so much for being here and welcome. So glad to have you and I can't wait to hear from you in the comments and just interact with you a little bit more. If you enjoyed my update, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and let me know if you are panning a palette this year because I love watching this kind of stuff. I'm following along with you out there in the YouTube universe and your victories are my victories and your battles are my battles and your challenges are my challenges. So we're in this together. Thanks again for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Have a good one. Bye.